today we're going to do something I don't do often enough. We're going into town. Before I moved here, there were only a few things I knew about Manchester. The Industrial Revolution. I knew they liked bees and football. And I might have heard about the Peterloo Massacre. So it was a day much like today, but apparently there wasn't a cloud in the sky. On the 16th of August, 1819, some 50,000 men, women, and children from Manchester and surrounding region gathered peacefully on this site, St. Peter's Field, to demand a radical reform of Parliament and the vote for all adult males. The local magistrates sent in constables to arrest the speaker, Henry Hunt, supported by armed cavalry. The volunteer Manchester and Salford Yeomanry Cavalry attacked the platform and the crowd, followed by the Cheshire Yeomanry. Regular cavalry of the 15th Hussars then charged to disperse the meeting. At least 18 people died from injuries received on the day. Almost 700 were injured, cut by sabers, beaten by truncheons, trampled by horses, or crushed in the crowd. The places the victims came from and the names of the dead are carved here. The event was dubbed the Peterloo Massacre, a reference to the Battle of Waterloo four years before. Between 1832 and 1928, universal suffrage was attained in stages for both men and women. Those who have the vote today owe a debt of gratitude to the brave citizens who rallied here in 1819. We will uphold the democratic values for which they stood. It's a bit humbling to be here. I was going to make a little documentary about the Peterloo Massacre, but there's so much out there already. Just imagine the money these guys had. I mean, how do you build something like that? Now, this building wasn't here at the time, but there was so much money in Manchester. And a lot of it was made because they paid their workers a pittance. I think it was Thomas Jefferson who said something like, the tree of freedom must be from time to time renewed with the blood of patriots and tyrants. And I guess these guys were thinking, well, uh, it's gonna be patriots. really sad. I mean, what were these guys afraid of? They were afraid of losing what they had, but it's next to impossible to lose what they had. St. Peter's Field, the Peterloo Massacre. On the 16th of August, 1819, a peaceful rally of 60,000 pro-democracy reformers, men, women, and children was attacked by armed cavalry, resulting in 15 deaths and over 600 injuries. So 60,000 people is a lot of people, even when they're cheek by jowl. We're all the way down here, way up by the Midlands Hotel there. Of course, none of these buildings were here, I keep reminding you. It was a field, but the cavalry was here, and they were just young fellows. You know, you, they were like uh, your Bill Clinton and your Donald Trump who went in the reserve to evade the draft. And uh, they were rich kids, and uh, because you couldn't be in the cavalry unless you had your own horse. And not just any horse. saying none of these buildings were here. People of 200 years ago wouldn't recognize the 
city today has changed so much. It's changed considerably since I first came here. But this building was here. The Quaker Meeting House. During the massacre, many peaceful reformers were crushed by the military against this boundary wall. Those people back 200 years ago certainly wouldn't recognize this city today. This was all open field back in the day. So I guess some of them were trying to seek shelter behind this wall, but ended up getting crushed against it. This is the Friends Meeting Hall. This wall on Boodle Street marks the northern boundary of St. Peter's Field in 1819. And it's just unbelievable. I mean, here are these guys, they have a, the magistrates are here, they have a clear line of sight to all these people. And, you know, it's children. There are children in this crowd. I mean, who, who brings their child to a, to a violent, it's just ridiculous for them to think that this was gonna get out of hand. It only got out of hand because these guys made it get out of hand. Most of the people involved that attended the meeting were from Manchester, so they would have known that there was safety there. So they might have been trying to get around to the front to get in through the front, I guess, gate here. Find some refuge from the cavalry and the swords and the cannons. This is the Friends Meeting House. And over here, you can see the steeple of that church protruding there, which looks like an old building, but it's actually not. That's, a, that's actually a new building. It just came in from Ikea. So let me take you back to a much more recent history. This is Paris about five or six years ago and we decided to stop into a shop to get a little picnic. So my wife and daughter went inside and my son and I stayed outside. And a police motorcycle came down the street with its lights on and cleared the street, followed by several police vans, followed by several dozen armed police in riot gear. And I had no idea what was going on and I was kind of terrifying because I was there with my son he was only six or seven years old and we uh, kind of found shelter in a little alley little alcove and my wife and daughter have the, all the shutters came down on the shops so we're separated and they're locked inside the shop and I had no idea what was going on but I soon found out it was some kind of protest or a demonstration and I've forgotten what it was about but all these protesters with banners and signs walking down the street and uh, I was thinking to myself this could get ugly all it takes is one drunken arsehole to throw a beer bottle and this could get ugly really fast and I was afraid for, for my son it was, it was scary it was <laughs> it could easily get ugly really fast and uh, but I soon had no fear of these protesters. I wasn't at all afraid of the protesters. They were just marching along, banging on drums and waving their flags, and it was just a normal protest. But this police presence was really unnerving. You have to remember our, our right to protest can be taken away in an instant. All it takes is for a situation to get ugly and it gives them more reason to take away your right to protest. I had no fear of these protesters. Who are you more afraid of? The girl blowing bubbles? Or this? <laughs>